doing that super high tech thing where I take my phone and my tripod because I don't have a tripod adapter. I've had some people ask me about barbs and if you're unfamiliar with barb drawings I made a whole separate video about it and I'll put the link for that down in the description below but um, I've had a, um, a couple people kind of ask like what do you do if you don't either can't afford atelier training or if there's not an atelier near you but then as far as barbs go which I really believe in doing them I mean they're really <laughs> they're really tedious and once you get through doing your barbs you're really glad that you're done doing them but um, I think they're they're a really awesome learning tool um, to get your eye really, really sharp and really accurate. And I think that they are super important to do. Um, and actually, a friend of mine, Kate, and I were talking at school during lunchtime one time about, like, how would you do a BARG if you couldn't uh, or if you didn't have access to a teacher? Because um, just like having the BARG, BARG book and going through the book, um, any drawing practice is going to help you along, but you really do need a teacher that um, has the experience and can tell you, you know, like where your shapes are too big or show you, like point out your inaccuracies. So Harry and I were talking about this and what you would do if you didn't have a teacher and we were saying that like, well maybe someone could, um, you have the original BARG and then the one that you're working beside it and you, you have to work sight size, so the thing that you're drawing has to be the exact same size as the original bark. And so if you were to take tracing paper and trace out the big lines, um, when you're working on yours, you could put the traced version over yours so you can see where maybe your lines are, um, well, not matching up to the original. Or you could even print out the bark on one of those transparent sheets. Just something that you can kind of self-check where you lay over your, so you lay over the original bark on your drawing. So I definitely can see how that would work for getting the line work down. Um, and I think that would be really good if you're kind of in a tight spot and you can't find a teacher or maybe can't afford to go to an atelier. And that could really um, help improve your drawing skills. Um, I do see a limit in this though, I, especially in the more complicated bargs where you're working with value. I know when I was doing my bargs, I um, was having problems with value transitions and kind of like edge work in values and um, I don't think you could really self-correct with the transparent papers doing that in regards to value. I think you would really need a second pair of eyes that have already been trained to help you with um, really learning about transitions and value. Oh yeah, um, someone also asked if I could show a bar kind of step by step. Um, I'm not gonna do <laughs> I'm not gonna do a bar because um, I kind of want to leave that behind. They're not the most they're not the most fun things to do though. You do get like huge benefits from them, and I would rather paint. But um, we have a new student. Her name's Sarah, and she is incredible. I don't know where she came from, but she um, she said she would take a picture at the end of each day of working on the bargs, um, and then I'm going to show you the progress that way because the bargs that she's done already are absolutely incredible um but that'll probably be a while before that video goes up because um well we have to wait for school to start and then um i can't remember which barg she had one picked out um that i don't think she started it yet um but i think it's a pretty complicated one and usually the more complicated ones can take like five to ten um five to ten weeks so um yeah it'll probably take a while for that video video to go out and then also later today, I'm going into the studio. Um, I was working on a color study of Delon in this seated pose, and today's the last day to work on that, so I'm going to try and finish that color study up. The last time I worked on it, I think I only worked three sessions on it. Um, something came up and I had to leave the drawing session early. So um, I, it's still at a really simplified state. I'm pretty happy with the drawing, though, of the whole thing, which is kind of like the first thing you got to nail down. First, anyway, and then I kind of really did simple um, lay-ins of the value. But I think I, I only had a few colors mixed up. Um, so I had the white, well, the background color, the shadow color, the lightest value on the figure, and then a value that's in between the lightest value and the shadow for the figure. So um, 
I had the drawing down and then a really, really simplified version of the effect of light over the whole image, just like the first impression that you would see or get while looking at um, what you're looking at. Oh my gosh. I think I'll show the first three um, sessions that I worked on it the day before so you can see the kind of, uh, so you can kind of see the progression of the whole thing then. Mm -hmm.